Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my weekly update. I am pre-recording this a few days, or I'm sorry, the day before I go to the retreat. So by the time you see this on Friday, I will be at the retreat for two full days. Retreat! Ah! Yeah, can't wait, seriously. So, lots to show and tell. Uh, I don't have a mug to show you today because it is like noon here and I'm done drinking coffee, I think, for the day. But my t-shirt is uh, our team here in Maryland for baseball is the Orioles. This is my favorite player, Adam Jones. Hello. He shares the same last name. But yeah, his number's 10, so this is that shirt. So yeah, love this shirt. So, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was good. Went to my dad's. Always a good time over there to see him. Uh, we came home. I talked about this in my Stitch With Me video, so I'm not going to repeat too much here, but I had a lot of people ask me if I wore my turkey hat when I answered the door when the mailman rang the doorbell. No. No, no, no. Whole lot of nope on that. No. I took it off because my mailman already thinks I'm a nutball because of all the packages and stuff I get. It is literally like a running joke. When I order scrapbook paper, even if you order one sheet, it comes in a 12 by 12 skinny box. And the running joke between him and I is that he's delivering me a pizza. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. Yeah, he already thinks I'm a nut, so no. Um, no, I did not wear the turkey. So on Friday to Saturday, my husband and I decorated our house. I helped him outside with the lights. So I'm going to insert a little video I did here. I did a little home tour. Trust me, nothing like Priscilla and Chelsea. I'm not even remotely close to that. <laughs> but I do show you my tree and a couple little things that we did. So I'm gonna insert that video right here. Hey guys. I thought I would do a tiny little Christmas tour of my house. My husband and I don't decorate a whole lot, but we do decorate some. We put up our tree this past weekend. That's my dishwasher going, if you hear that. But I just, right now, put this tablecloth on our table. Here, I'll try to get, I'm trying not to shake the camera very much. I'll get close. This was his mom's. His mom passed away seven weeks after we had been dating. So that was his mom's. And then she also, these are plastic canvas placemats. So we put those out every year too. She did those. I actually really like them. They're awesome. And then salt and pepper shakers that are snowmen. So this is all that we do in the kitchen. But yeah, how you like that? Danielle's Fine China paper plate holder. Yeah, I got that on eBay. Okay, so now we're going to make our way downstairs. I'll open up the door because we have this um, nice wreath that we put on the door every year. Isn't that pretty? Love that wreath. Yeah, so every year we, I don't even get if you can see it right. Every year we put that on. We also have the outside decorated. See the candy canes? Yeah, I helped him with that the day after Thanksgiving. We have like two little reindeer that light up. And then we actually have lights in the bushes and stuff. I will show that at a different time when we do our little Christmas lights tour. Okay. So we put our Christmas tree down here because um, this is where we watch TV and stuff. So... Here is another thing that we always put out. Well, first of all, Christmas candy. Hello. M&M's and Hershey Kisses with almonds. This is like a candle centerpiece we put out. This is my husband's uh, favorite decoration, I think. A fishing Santa. And we don't have it plugged in. It actually moves. The fishing pole moves up and down. Yeah. We put this little guy all the time on the TV. Snowman. Um, we hang our dog's stockings on this. 
Now, Mojo was our dog that passed away a few years ago, but I still put his stocking up every year. And then Layla is our other little dog. So I put a little toy in her stocking every year. Yeah, she loves it. Okay, this is my husband's one of, my, one of his favorite things. A mistletoe. Do you get it? I got these at the dollar store. One year I gave everyone in my family one of these. It was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. But okay. Oh yeah, look, here's the... I don't know if I ever showed this. The Wedding by Lavender and Lace. I stitched this when my husband and I got married. Yeah. Uh-huh. And... Oh, we also hang like snowflakes. See that snowflake? There's a couple other ones around. Yeah. But, and I'll show real quick too. This is not Christmas related, but this is kind of our wall of pictures of us. Like, here's our marriage certificate here. And then there's another one. Um, we went to Eureka Springs, Arkansas and got married. So they have a wax museum in Bristol. We went there. Or Branson. Branson, Missouri. I'm sorry. We went there, that we went to the Titanic Museum. I stitched the Lizzie Kate A Good Marriage for us. Um, that's a picture of us on our cruise. We went to a ball game on my birthday a couple years ago and I got that special frame. And then my mom had gotten, she got this made for us when we got married. I love that. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But okay. Oh, and one other little wedding thing. I know I've never showed this. I made this collage when we got married. Um, I got this frame at Michael's for, I want to say it was like 50% off and it's a beautiful frame and it's pretty big. Um, but I went through all of our pictures and yeah, my hair is very different. We got married in front of a waterfall. So a little one, so I went through all the pictures and tried to put them in order of the ceremony. So my husband took a picture of me, you know, before we went down. Yeah, we didn't hire a photographer. We just, and that was a decal that we got. We had that decal on the back of our car the whole weekend we were there. It was awesome because people were honking and stuff when we went by. But yeah, I, I love this collage. Like I said in one of my Stitch With Me videos, if anything ever happens and the house is on fire, I'm grabbing that because I'm not replacing that. I don't even know if I even have the CD where pictures are. Okay. Here's our tree. I don't know. Okay, here. You know, it's going to focus in. We got lights the other day that go from white to colored. And they're actually really cool. Um, but this is our gas fireplace. We always put out right here, the poinsettias. These are our stockings, his uh, daughter's stocking. We got this fireplace cover thing at a flea market for like 10 bucks. But this is a musical thing that she made in school one year that plays. But yeah, there's our tree and I have already wrapped a couple presents and put them under there. I don't waste any time folks. But yeah, um, some of my, two of my favorite ornaments I wanted to show you. I actually got this one this year, of course, please. I had to get a breast cancer ornament. So got that one front and center. And then the, uh, my other favorite one is one that I stitched. Where is it? Right here. I actually finished that myself too. Put the felt on, stitched around, ribbon, yeah. Our first Christmas, 2009. But yeah, so... My husband and I did the tree by ourselves this year. This was the first year that his daughter did not come over to help us decorate. So just him and I did it this time. Um, we also have, each of us have one of our, those little ornaments with our name on them. Um, yeah, I like those. We got those at Michael's, I think. But yeah, that's all the decorating we do. Like I said, we don't do a ton. We used to put, this is our, um, our back deck. We used to put decals, you know, like those clingy things when his daughter was a lot younger, but they got so old and weren't sticking anymore. So we stopped, do we threw those away, stopped doing that. But yeah, so that's it.
that's it for this little portion. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my Christmas stuff. But yeah, this is our basement. And then here's my bedroom. Here, I'll just turn on the lights so you guys can see. Yeah, see, there's the quilt. My vanity that he got. My bed. Dresser. My lovely TV that I watch almost all my floss tube on when I am um, laying in bed stitching. You can see there's my little ledge. I have like stitching projects back there. A lot of the stuffed animals you guys have gotten me. But yeah, that's where I hung the quilt. So I see it every single night. Oh, and then here's where I hung the, remember the, uh, the give thanks wreath that I received? Yeah, that's where I hung that. And yeah, I know this has gotten way off topic from Christmas. That pottery barn thing that I want for my husband for Christmas. I'm going to hang it on this wall right here because look, there's nothing on that wall blank so that's where I want to put that yeah but okay guys so back to my regular video Toodaloo. pretty nice right yeah we love our tree and the lights are new this year uh, some of the lights on our tree had been burned out so my husband wanted to go get new lights so we did so okay a post I saw, there's a couple little tidbits of what's going on in the cross-stitch industry or the cross-stitch world, I should say, this week. One is, I saw a post on Stitch Mania, and I had to laugh when I saw the end of it. But this person says, and I'm looking down at my notes, they've been stitching for 45 years, and they wanted the whole line of DMC. We all want the whole line of DMC, right? She said over the 45 years that she's been stitching, she's only used about one third of those colors. And if she had to do it again, she wouldn't buy the whole line of DMC. So her question was, why we as stitchers think it is so important to have the whole line of DMC? And at what made me laugh was at the end she put, no haters please, because let's face it, we know that and when you put a post like that, or like the one post that Drew Weasley Studios put asking about how he can rechart the verse for a forest grew, holy mother of God, you would have thought he committed murder when he put that post on there. By the responses that they got, I'm not going to even digress into that, but there were over 350 comments on that post. I didn't read them all. I just glanced. But it made me think about why I wanted the whole line of DMC. Because if you remember last year at Christmas time, I asked my husband for it and he got it for me. What I was doing is when I would kit up a project, I found myself buying multiple skeins of the same color. Like if I had five projects and all of them used 310, I'd be buying five skeins of 310. Now, when I have the whole line, first of all, I like to have the whole line because I know that anytime I want to stitch a project, I'm going to have the color. I'm going to have it. Even if I don't use all of, there's 500 colors in the DMC line now. Even if I don't ever use all 500 colors, I love to have them at my disposal for converting. If I ever want to convert something, but now what I do, let's say I have five projects and let's say three of them share similar colors. If I see that happening, I will put, I will use one of those plastic floss boxes, like the smaller ones. And I will put basically a project master set in there. I will put all of the DMC bobbins for all five of those projects. So I just have to take one box with me or wherever and all of the colors are in there. Do you know what I mean? I hope I explained that right. It has actually saved me money. It has saved me from buying multiple skeins. So that's my reasoning for having the whole line of DMC. And let's face it, stitchers, we want everything. We want all the things. Yeah. What was that? That was a weird noise outside. Now the neighbor's dog is barking. Yeah, don't even get me started on that. Okay. So, the next thing, which is the project, the Nora Corbett Miss Solar Ellipse. I put a post on Instagram 
my pattern well I'm going to show you the key my key you see miss solar ellipse with one L so that's how I've been spelling it in post and whatever someone came on my Instagram post and was like it's actually miss solar eclipse I was like oh balls okay well I went on Witzelt's website who is the distributor of this pattern in their own description they have it spelled two different ways with one L with two L's and no C like eclipse and I went okay I gotta get to the bottom of this because I do not like to state things incorrectly in a post so I started doing some research and I wound up going to the Mirabilia board on Facebook and putting a post a comment under the post when they announced the two releases and said what's the proper spelling of this and in fact it should be two L's it is a type of butterfly solar ellipse is a type of butterfly so that's what it is I find it funny that my pattern has a misprint in the title and I wonder if ever any other one has it yeah I don't know so that was really all my notes because I just have stitching and stuff but first I will and I forgot something of course I did I'll get that in a minute but on Black Friday the impress nail website had a 30% off sale and I bought five sets of nails I couldn't resist at 550 a piece but first please can we just admire the awesomeness that and this is sold out I went to buy another set of these sold out yeah but here are the five that I got oh my god I can't wait to wear these for Christmas look reindeer glitter candy canes please these are cute too like just for winter these are the matte ones I love the matte ones snowflakes yeah glitter please these I'm going to wear New Year's Eve oh my god look at the accent nail oh yeah and then red green gingerbread striped yes and then finally another set of like winter snowflake ones they have some awesome ones people I would I'm just so excited to go on there I go on there periodically once or twice a week just to see the new designs that come out I mean you really cannot be getting your nails done even if you pay $7.99 which is the retail price dude please yeah okay my husband and I went to Cracker Barrel on Saturday after we decorated the tree and put up the stuff and I found the most awesome little snow globe look at that and it has my initial I really wanted to get Jill one of these as part of her Christmas gift they did not have the letter J they had like a C D yeah that's it and I got one of the last D's so yeah it's really small and cute it was only $2.99 I think love that so that's gonna go on the shelf and I, I'm going in no particular order here I received another gift from my friend Arlene Grimm who sends me something every week and her gifts are going to be coming to an end because I only have two chemo treatments left people two that is it two in December and I'm done but look she gave me a face mask coffee and coconut oil I cannot even wait to break this open and smell it because I'm imagining that it smells amazing Arlene thank you so much cannot wait to try that and then I bought the DMC 10 I used my gift certificate from Amy at down sunshine lane and I'm just gonna show it because I actually did a little unboxing video of it that went up before this so if you want to check that out but when she sent me that she sent me this hat look at that are you kidding me right now yeah Amy thank you so much I love this hat I will be wearing it yeah love that and then another Facebook friend Heather 
She sends me postcards periodically. Her husband travels for work or he's a Marine. I think he's a Marine. Okay, but she sent me one from Buckingham Palace. Um, yeah, totally love that. Would love to go to the UK someday. Yeah. So thank you, Heather. Love that. And the best gift I received this week. Now, I have forgotten something, so I'm going to pause and be right okay. back. Okay. You guys remember when I did the flip through of this issue? I had an extra copy and I sent it to Michelle Bendy Stitchy just as a gift because I did not need two copies of this magazine. This project she stitched and I loved it. Oh my God. And I was going to stitch it. Yeah. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? So I checked my mail yesterday and I have this big box in it. And I'm like, what is this big box? It is from Michelle Bendy Stitchy. So I open the box and first off, I see this awesome postcard from Falling Sky Brewery. And she wrote me a nice little note that said her handwriting, God, her printing is so nice and neat says, this is just a little something to let you know how much you mean to so many and to say thanks for the magazine. She sent me some stickers. You all know I'm obsessed with stickers. Oh my God, look at those little animals. Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm gonna be sticking them all over the place. But the piece de resistance that she sent, are you ready? Are you ready? She stitched that pattern but she converted it into a fox. We know she is the queen of converting because if you saw her video where she converted the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Black Hat Society into the three women from Hocus Pocus, holy effing shit. Look at that. Ah! I literally screamed when I opened it up and saw that she converted it to a fox. That is a fox, people. Look at that. The tail, the face, are you kidding? And little fox sticker. I love the acorn up here. Oh my God. And she wrote me another note on the back and wrote, you know, the pattern, the name, the designer, where it was from. Um, just a lovely, lovely note. Something that I, and you know what? This makes me want to start putting paper in the back of my canvas finishes and writing notes like this. So I remember years down the road, what I was doing, all that, but oh my God, I'm just going to hold this up there for a second. Michelle, thank you so much. I, I don't even have words. Now I got to find a place where I'm going to hang this in my office. My office is getting crowded people, but is that not like the most awesome thing ever? Oh my God. It's a fox. Did I say it was a fox? She converted it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that good. Uh, I'll change a color and a fabric. You know I'm all about the fabric, but oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. So that was a lovely, lovely surprise yesterday. So I had one purchase this week besides the DMC tin, which I used a gift certificate for anyway. I went to my LNS on Saturday for Small Business Saturday. And I actually went in there to get some mini stretcher bars, but I saw this pattern and had to get it. The drawn thread deck the halls. Would that not be like the cutest Christmas finish? Now, what I didn't realize until I got home, see the berries? All of these berries are Jessica stitches. Okay. So I'll probably be doing a little video on that when I go to stitch those because I haven't done a Jessica stitch in a really, really long time. But the supplies for this, it calls for dinky dye silk. Nah. So I walked through the store and I picked classic color works. I did my own conversion, you know, because you only needed a light green, a dark green, a black, 
a brown, and a burgundy. And I could have used DMC 310, but I didn't. So I chose the dark green Classic Colorworks Mistletoe, the brown Fresh Brew, Holly Berry for the red, Blackbird for the black, and then Lemongrass for the light green. So I think these are all gonna look awesome. And the fabric, I already picked a fabric. Hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie, 28 Count Lugana, and Caramel, Caramel Macchiato. Yep. So I'm probably going to be stitching that soon because that would be a nice piece to have done for Christmas. And it won't take me that long. But I'm not taking it to the retreat. No, no. But holy crap, people. You guys, I've had over 300 comments on that video about what I should take to the retreat. And what I decided to take, I'm taking all the things. I am taking the Nora Corbett. I am taking the ink circles. I am taking this small smell my feet ornament. And I am taking the Glendon Place Halloween a Haunting Household. And all of you that commented on my Prairie Moon video about what color combination I should pick. Please, we know what one I picked, right? Of course I picked, because I'm pulling it out here. Of course I picked the Unicorn Dreams fabric with DMC 310 and 718. Yup, this will be a 2018 start. And hopefully a 2018 finish. I will be starting that very, very soon. So thank you for all your input on that and for commenting also on my Instagram post about it. I have people that, the same people, there's a, a small group of people that comment literally on every video that I do, and I really, really appreciate that. Love the comments, most of them. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what did I work on this week stitching-wise? So, I did work a tiny bit on the Ink Circles Dark Shards because I wanted some more done on that. And it's so funny, a lot of you thought this is all in one color. No, it is one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got eight colors in it. Here's some of the colors. Yeah. So, but I actually decided, wait a minute, I'm pulling the pattern off of the piece. Here's what I got done. I got done the outline of this section because I figured it would be a lot easier to outline it. That's all, I think it's 839 DMC. And then just go in and fill in the bits of color. So yeah, that actually, when I get done this part, that's, I only have like a little piece up here. I'm almost done that. So I am going to be definitely taking that to the retreat because I probably will be able to get a nice chunk of that done on that. Okay, I also worked on Miss Solar Ellipse Nora Corbett this week. Here is, oh, forgot to say. This is being worked on, and it's upside down. <laughs> this is being worked on 14 Count Ada by Picture This Plus and Heroic. I actually really love Picture This Plus Ada. It is the softest Ada of any hand dye company that I've tried, and I've tried them all. We know this. The needle minder is one that I made myself. I won that clay piece in an auction on Facebook from Be Fairy Creative. Okay. But yeah, Miss Solar Ellipse. I almost said Eclipse. Jesus. But yeah, so I'm working on her. And you know, how I do a Nora Corbett. And like I said, there's no stitching police. There is no cross stitch police. Do what you want to do. If you want to put a knot in your thread, if you do it, just who effing cares, right? So how I do a Nora Corbett, and I cannot stress this enough. I always start in the middle and I will stitch the bottom part first because for me, my most favorite part of a Nora Corbett are the wings and the body. Now, she only has like an eyelash, 
So I'm going to be adding a lip on there, like I did for um, the Peony Pixie. But yeah, man, I cannot wait to get to those wings. Those wings are going to be everything on that piece. And see these little things in the corner? I'm not stitching that. I don't even know what those are, but I'm not stitching those. So, but yeah, okay, so work on that. I am stitching mine on hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie 28 Count Lugana in Discord. And I've actually gotten quite a bit done. If you watched my Stitch With Me video, which was more like a Frog With Me video, I had stitched the whole outline of this and then it was down too far and I had to rip it out. And obviously I beat as I go along because there's no way in hell I could ever wait to beat at the end because I would never do these. But the needle minders, the mermaid is from Down Sunshine Lane. And then the butterfly is a wood piece from Pork Chop Show on Etsy that I bought and made into a needle minder myself. But yeah, cannot wait to get the bottom of her dress done so I can get to those wings. I'm going to be putting this, these on mini stretcher bars actually today or tomorrow morning before I leave because I, these are it's too heavy for this to hold, to stitch. But mini stretcher bars, no, they're perfect. So I worked on that. And then I worked on my trick or, tr trick or treat. Smell my feet piece. It's by La Di Da and it's out of the October 2008 Just Cross Stitch magazine. I am working mine on 28 Count Lugana by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie in Imps Playground. And last night I stitched a lot. I stayed up really late. But oh my God, look. I got one of the socks done. Is, aren't the colors amazing? Now, this only looks crooked because I have it stretched on here. It's not crooked. And if you remember, I had a spider button that I bought and I decided to stitch the spider because when I put the button on, it was way too big. So I just stitched the spider, but the floss, the blue is color and cotton. Wait a minute. Let me tell you because someone's going to inevitably ask me. It's color and cotton Maldives and the green is Mose Sail Parrot. And the needle minder is from Delicious Threads, Black Cat. But oh my God, is that not looking so awesome? So I don't really have that much more to go. I just have the other shoe and sock and the word trick. That's it. So this is definitely going with me because I'll probably be able to finish this there, maybe. But yeah, is that not looking awesome? So loving that, loving those bright, bright colors on that. And that's all that I stitched. I actually thought I got quite a bit done for just, it hasn't even been a week yet, technically since I'm filming this video. So the last two things I wanted to talk about. Okay, you saw the Miss Solar Ellipse. I also purchased, and I alluded to this in a previous video, Excuse me, my God. I bought the other one that was released at the same time called Miss, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it Lola or Lowell? Miss Lowell's Dagger, Dagger Wing? There's how you, L-O-L-E. And this is how it looks. Okay, those beads are purple beads. There's only one bead, one Krynic. And so I said, okay, what fabric can make this look amazing because these use a lot of the colors that the solar ellipse uses. You want to see the fabric I picked out? I knew right away as soon as I looked at it. Now you know I've been looking for a pattern to stitch on this fabric for a long time. Fiberlicious 28 Count Lugana in Sunset. I am going to put that on this. I am going to do it, The her bottom, I'm going to start in the middle here so because if you look, Jesus, really? My husband's like, well, isn't her boots going to blend in? Well, the gray, this piece is not that big. So if you, her boots are just going to be barely into that purple. And the fact that the red in her wings is on the inside, I think it's going to look awesome. That's going to look really, I've been wanting something to stitch on this fabric. So that is what I'm going to stitch. And I'm pretty sure 
after I stitch the solar ellipse, I'm going to do this one. Because let me tell you, and I said this on Stitch Mania, usually when I stitch a Nora Corbett, I get kind of burned out after I've stitched one because I've been working on it exclusively for usually six weeks or more. But when I start stitching one again, because the last one I did was Peony Pixie, as soon as I start working on one, my love is renewed for Nora Corbett. I personally think Nora Corbett is one of the most talented designers out there, if not the most talented cross stitch designer, in my opinion. The way she uses color and beads and just astounding. I love, I have so many of her patterns and want to stitch them all. Okay. The last thing I want to talk about, I wanted to show you some of my Christmas pieces that I have stitched and finished and framed with Christmas coming up. And I know I, you know, I did a finishes video way back, like video number two, I showed all of my things I have on my wall. I've done over 150 videos now. So many of you probably have forgotten what some of these pieces are. So the very first one is the Lizzie Kate Christmas rules. I stitched and fr I framed this myself. If you look really tight, meaning when I ordered the frame, I didn't order it properly. Uh, luckily, but I mean, it is right to the edge. But I really love this frame. And, you know, I wasn't being adventurous with fabric then. I know I used all the called for colors in this, and I'm pretty sure this is stitched on, I want to say it's probably 32 count Belfast in, I don't know what color that would be. What? It's like a mocha or something like it's a popular color. Light mocha, I think that's what it is. But yeah, love this piece. But yeah, so I did that one. And I also did the Country Cottage Needleworks and the frame is dusty. Oh, and you know, people have asked, I frame nothing with glass. I've never had something get extremely dusty where it ruins it, never. And I mean, these pieces are old. This is Country Cottage Needleworks Joy. This is on 28 count lamb's wool Joblin, a red suede mat. I had this framed in my LNS and this actually won an honorable mention ribbon at Woodlawn, not last year, but the year before. Yeah, love stitching this one. And I stitched this one pretty quick. I loved it. I just love the word joy and all the ornaments and stuff. Yeah. But my favorite Christmas one that I've done, and there's a story behind it. This is, God, what's the name of the piece? It's called ABC Christmas. Oh my God, who's it by? Amon Ami Pierre. I hope I didn't murder that. I had this framed by Jill Renzel. You see the hand-painted mat. This is on, I want to say it's 28 count. It's opalescent, raw, raw opalescent linen. Is it linen? Yeah, I see slubs in there. I stitched this so long ago, people. And the thread, it, it was still called Needle Necessities. It's one of their green ones. But I substituted in the middle, I did sparkle braid and beads for the ornament. And I also changed the date. I, for, I think it was charted for like 2008. And I had to change it. I, so I found a one and a three online because that's when I stitched it in 2013. Now, the story behind this, it was the second year. No, the first year. The first or second year that I went to a stitching retreat in Laurel. And one of the women that had put on the retreat, her business partner had died of cancer recently at that time. So she had a bunch of her projects that some were started, some were not, and she was selling them and donating the proceeds to charity. So of course I'm going to go over there and look at the pile. This pattern was in the pile. She only had the letters A and B stitched and it was $25. All the thread was in there, the fabric, the pattern, it was a deal. I snatched that right up. So 
I love that there's a story with that and stitching this. I love stitching alphabets. I really, really love this. And I remember when I entered this in Woodlawn and I don't think it won anything, but I had a judge personally email me and like, where can I get this pattern? What is it called? And I'm like, whoops, sorry, it's out of print. And then I didn't make working copies at that point. Yeah, but yeah, this is my favorite Christmas piece that I've done. Oh, but yeah, I also wanted to say real quick, the Nora Corbett, when I stitch those, I don't make working copies. Now, Lady of the Flag, I probably will, obviously. But those, I, I mark right on the original copy. And I feel you guys cringing, at least some of you. But like I said, there is no cross-stitch police, people. You do what you want with the money that you have spent on your cross-stitch stuff. You do what you want. So... That is it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a great week. I will be putting up a retreat video when I get back some point next week. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.